Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Betsy. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Ninja Foodi 2 Basket Air Fryer. This is my first air fryer. I've been eyeing them for about a year now. I see a lot of friends posting about them, raving about them, how amazing it is. And I've read a lot of different reviews and watched videos. And the reason why I hadn't gotten one is because I wanted an air fryer for the health aspects of it. It looks easy to cook with with and the time saving aspect of it but a lot of the air fryers that I had seen prior to this one they have one basket and you can only cook one item at a time with this one though you can cook a two different foods at the same time and for me that is what I want I really want to conserve time when I'm meal prepping I'm starting whole 30 again uh, this year has been quite challenging 2020 has been relentless and I fell back into uh, old bad habits. I've started using food to cope with stress and I really need to get back on track. So I'm going to do another round of Whole30 and this just seems like an excellent tool for me to use while I'm on the program so I can do my meal prep, reheat my food. So I'm going to open it and make some salmon and I'll let you all know what I think. This is the air fryer that cooks two foods two ways and done at the same time. Sold. Yeah, that's basically what sold me on it. What is this in here? Ooh, it comes with this Kickstarter of recipes. Really, Ninja? This is all you could send us? Minus one star. You could do better. Ooh, smells brand new. Obviously. What would I expect it to smell like? Salmon? But now to use this baby. Whoops. Okay, let me bring you all close so you can take a look at how beautiful she is. Yes, queen. This air fryer has six different cooking functions. It has the two different baskets. Uh, each basket is four quarts. Total capacity is eight quarts. I'm gonna get started with the salmon. These baskets are on the smaller side. Could probably put a couple fillets in there, big ones. So let's get started. Let's see how this turns out. I'm going to Keep it real simple. I'm gonna use some lime, garlic powder, salt, pepper, some onion. And I got these little garlic cubes at Trader Joe's a while ago and I completely forgot about them and I used them the other day and they are great. Just gonna pour some olive oil. I was gonna put this basket in the air fryer with the foil paper because I've seen a ton of recipe reviews where people put their food in foil paper. However, I don't think that's the right way to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the salmon directly on this little grill without putting any foil. It's not very big, just put basically two fillets of salmon in there. Now I'm gonna cook it. Okay, so smart fish, I'm gonna do 17 minutes. Start, I went ahead and started the air fryer. You can hear it in the back. It's not super loud, but it's not very quiet. I don't know how many decibels it is, I'll try to look online to see if it says uh, how loud it is, the decibels. Uh, but as soon as it's done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make myself a salad. And hopefully it tastes really, really good. So I'll keep you posted. The salmon is ready. Let's check it out. Looks good. Let's give it a try, see how it tastes. I put onion in there and the onions burnt, but other than that, this looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Uh, I'm gonna use this dressing. 
balsamic Cindy's kitchen. Before I put any dressing on here, I'm gonna go ahead and try the salmon. It's flaky, it's good. Final thoughts. As of right now, it's the first time that I tried the air fryer, any air fryer, period. I made salmon, it tastes good. Uh, next time I would cook the salmon for a little bit less, I cooked it for 17 minutes. However, as of right now, would I justify the $170 price tag? No, because I could have made this in the oven. If I cooked this in the oven, I would have cooked it for about 20 to 22 minutes. So am I saving time? I'm saving about three to five minutes. The basket, I was able to fit two fillets in there. So if I'm going to be doing a meal prep, I would have to do it in a few batches, as opposed to if I just did it in the oven, I would put multiple salmon fillets in there or use one tray for salmon, use another tray for another protein and another tray for veggies. So as of right now, I just, don't understand the craze but I am going to be trying it for the next few days and if my mind changes I'll come back and just tell you what I think thanks again for watching I'll see you next time